And April is National Organ Donation Month. And our Stories of Hope series, we talked to one local family who turned tragedy into hope. 15-year-old Peyton Rindless Baker had a passion for life with playing football and riding motorcycles. But on a warm March day back in 2015, just a week after his 15th birthday, Peyton was in a motorcycle accident near his home in Bancroft. As they were wheeling him out on the stretcher, the doctor said there's a 99% chance that he won't make it. And it, did, it didn't even occur to me at that time. The only thing I thought was... Peyton's going to have a really good story to tell when he does. It didn't occur to me that he wouldn't make it. Peyton's parents were approached about organ donation, and although it was a difficult decision to make at the time, his parents decided to donate Peyton's vital organs and his eyes. It just felt right. It just felt, it just felt like that's what we should do. You know, it, it, it was not a, an easy decision, but yet it wasn't a very hard decision either. Um, I guess knowing the nature of, of Peyton and knowing that that's what he would want um, to be able to help others, it made the decision a lot easier. Peyton's mom describes him as having a good heart, being a good big brother, and he was looking forward to serving an LDS mission. His dad says Peyton loved everyone and he was always the life of the party. You never see him without a big smile or, I guess, kind words to, to everybody. Um, and he, he seemed to love little kids for some reason. And he always, uh, I guess, made everybody feel welcome when they were around him. And although Peyton's life ended way too soon, he gave the gift of life to six other recipients. I guess losing um, our boy to, to be able to help um, somebody else improve their lives, which, which made it a little easier. Four of those recipients sent letters to Peyton's family. I cried every time I read their letter. To be able to, I guess, see the, the lives that he affected and, uh, you know, to improve their quality of lives was, uh, you know, very, very humbling. For more information about organ donation, go to the Donor Connect website.